Now to our Joy Clean Ghana campaign, health officials of the Accra Metropolitan Assembly stormed the Bukwam community to sensitize residents on the need to clean their drains. Close to a month since the sanitation campaign, Operation Clean Your Frontage was launched in the community. District Environmental Health Officer Gordon Akoria says the residents have failed to comply and clean their environments. Drains remain choked with plastics. Michael Ashali has more for us. Some residents of Ododododo are still not cleaning their surroundings despite the launch of Operation Clean Your Frontage and calls for them to make cleaning their priority. District Environmental Health Officer Gordon Akoria says residents remain reluctant to clean their surroundings, particularly the drains. This time the health officers say they have devised a new strategy to coerce the residents to clean their drains. So we did the launching in this particular community and uh, unfortunately uh, they are not still adhering to our advice, the sensitization and the education. So today we have a special uh, strategy for them. When we come and your frontage is uh, insanitary, in other words, full of filth, we will lock your, your premises or shop and put you into the the drain to clean it after cleaning it then we after cleaning it to the satisfaction of uh, the team then we open it for you to uh, to operate because this is the language these people in the community understand if you don't do this you will not be able to achieve your 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 aim the first stop of the team was at a drinking bar the drain was choked with shovels and garden forks the residents were forced to clean the drain So let me let me get closer to Margaret. So, Margaret, yes. the officials say they've been here several times, warning you about this um, drain here, but you failed to clean it. Do you have any peculiar challenges for which you've not been able to do that? Not really. Not really. Yeah. So it's an intentional thing that you won't clean the drain. No, it's not an, an intentional thing. This is my first time coming here, so I don't know anything about it. Yeah. So you haven't seen any of the officials here before? Not. Really. No. Okay. This is my Great. First time. So today they are asking that if you don't clean it, they are going to lock up the place. How do you feel about that? I feel bad. Yeah. So going forward, what is going to be the chat from you? You leave the, the, the ladies from, from this pub, right? Yep. So f from here, what are you going to be doing? Well, we will make sure we clean it every day. Some of the residents note the absence of cleaning tools such as shovels, forks and gloves make it difficult to clean their environment. Me, my name is Yao Gariba. First, we get gutter cleaners. Where do they clean every day? Did they pay them? But now we don't see anything. We don't understand. So that if this gutter choke, we will go volunteer and uh, come out it, which is not fine. So now, if so, then they have to provide us tools. But sometimes you can feel go there, then they say that to somebody has come for it. So what you want to do, you can't do it. So right now, what do you want to, to be done? If they want us to help. They have to provide us tools here. So anytime if there is a choke here, then we can come out it. Uh, that is what we want. Some of the residents complain the waste collecting companies failed to collect waste removed from the drains. They want something done about it. Ma'anoukè <laughs> So, so what, what they keep saying is that uh, even if sometimes when they decide to collect the plastic waste or the waste from the drains, they have to leave it by the roadside to dry for some time. But the AMA officials or whoever is in charge of collecting 
the waste by the roadside that they have left don't come to collect them. And they think that that is really uh, the biggest of their challenges, even when they devote themselves to clean the waste. I'll try to find Mr. Gordon. Mr. Gordon, um, so one, one of the things that is running through um, the conversations we have with some of the people here is that you don't come for the, 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 the waste. No, no, no. You see, every house is supposed to register for their waste. You understand. So when you register with the accredited AMA accredited waste companies, they will come each morning to take your your garbage. You understand. So when you desert your frontage, you need to keep it in the dustbin for the accredited waste companies to come and take it away. You understand. Because AMA has uh, accredited to uh, zone them. Zoom Lion is here. Tropical waste is here. Uh, men's well uh, waste company two is here you understand so depending on the, which company is serving this area so you register with that company and anytime your dustbin is full then they will come and take it no by the roadside it is the responsibility of the households to remove it and keep it in their dustbins okay. you, you understand and not by the roadside no not by the roadside you need to keep it in your dustbin so that when the accredited waste contractor is coming to pick it then the person will pick everything away you don't keep it by the roadside because when you do, it will go back to the drainage. Then it will be a cost 90 work. The Clean Ghana campaign team will be in the Ablikuma sub metro on 9th March. Michael Ashali's report to join us. <laughs>